Welcome to the Verizon Business Internet Portal Guided Tour. The Business Internet Portal is your hub to remotely manage your Verizon Internet gateways. This cloud-based, easy-to-use portal helps simplify the management of your devices to support your workforce. Now, let's take a tour of the Verizon Business Internet Portal. The dashboard provides a snapshot of your Verizon Business Internet routers so you are able to focus on any items that may be most important to your business, such as investigating any devices showing offline or high usage, monitoring device alerts, visualizing a breakdown of devices by make, model, and accounts. You will also be provided with helpful links if you need additional support, such as changing a router plan or setting up a new router. Now, let's take a look at the Routers page. Click on the Routers link under Manage in the navigation bar to the left. The Router List page provides an inventory of all routers, including pertinent device information and status. On this page, you can view key identification items such as IMEI and MDN, as well as Router Name, which is completely customizable you will have the ability to show additional columns in the table view. Click on the table view drop-down list to the right. Create new. All items showing are related to a column heading. Those selected are currently displayed on the router list page. You have the option to add or remove an item or move an item up or down the stack. Lastly, enter a custom name for your table view, then click save. You also have the option to set it as default. You can see a map view of all your routers based on where the devices were set up at the time of order. You can sort data in column headings and filter for specific devices and attributes. Click on the device IMEI to go to the router overview page and configure feature settings. Router groups allow you to create groups or containers of routers within an account to better manage your inventory. This will also allow you to support other actions in the portal by selecting these pre-configured groups. To create a new router group, click on Create Group at the top right. Enter a name for the group and select an account. Then you can enter your routers manually or utilize our downloadable template. Finally, click Create. You can edit existing groups by clicking on the edit icon. You can also delete an existing group. Router Overview allows you to see the most widely used items for routers as well as network related information. Within this page, you are able to see status connection as well as signal strength for a device, run a speed test or reboot the device, Rename a device to something that better suits your needs, edit your Wi-Fi network and passwords, or disable the Wi-Fi altogether, and view the device's current data usage. For Bring Your Own Router or BYOR, the Business Internet Portal provides limited visibility into your router. You will be able to see information such as router details, including IMEI and MDN, as well as manufacturer and model information. You will also be provided with links to the manufacturer's pages, if available, where you can go to manage your devices. The Connected Devices section will show you a list of all devices that are connected to the router, whether by Wi-Fi or wired connection. On this page, you can see status connection type as well as signal strength for a specific device, rename a device to something better understood by your company, Block or allow the device into your router and delete the device from your view altogether. Wi-Fi Health provides you with a historical view of a device connected to your routers. This will let you see how good the connection is for these devices as well as any tips on how to improve the Wi-Fi performance. The configuration section has a number of features that you are able to set based on the needs of your business. On this page, you can enable or disable IP pass-through, local lock, and universal plug-and-play. Set basic firewall settings and enable the WAN block pings, and resync your access point name if you are experiencing network connectivity issues. The utility section allows customers to perform the following actions. Save and restore a configuration file from the router and perform a full factory reset if required. 
From the router overview page, you can view router alerts that are specific to individual routers. Data available includes the type of alert, status of the alert if available, the trigger that was set up in the original rule, the date on which the alert was created, and the contact of the alert recipients. You can also filter for alerts by date range and alert type. Bulk management gives you the ability to push an action or feature to up to 500 devices at the same time. To create a bulk request, click on the Create Action button at the top right. Enter a name, then select from one of the two creation options. If you already have bulk templates created, you can choose from the drop-down list. Available configuration options are as follows. Changing the Wi-Fi network name and passcode. Enabling or disabling Wi-Fi local lock, reboot a device, master router configuration. This will replicate Wi-Fi settings and local lock from a selected router. Finally, choose the method on how you would like the routers selected. Once you have finalized your selections, click Create. You can also create bulk management templates for actions that you would like to repeat on future requests to save time. To create a new template, click on the Create Template button at the top right. Enter a name for the template. Select a bulk action configuration. Click on Learn More to discover the options. You can reboot multiple routers at the same time, rename a Wi-Fi network, change the passcode, and enable or disable the network, lock a router from being able to access the local GUI for configuration changes, and perform a master router config, which will replicate Wi-Fi and local lock from the selected router. Let's choose the reboot action. Choose your method to select the routers. You can select from existing router groups, enter a device manually, or upload devices by utilizing our downloadable dynamic template. When you have finished with your selections, click to create. You can also edit a template by clicking on the edit icon under the actions column. Let's head on over to the alerts page. Here, you will be able to view specific alerts that were triggered across your devices. On this page, you can view the type of alert, view the details about the alert, see the date the alert was created, as well as sort and filter by alerts. Now, let's see how to create rules that trigger the alerts. From the alerts page, click on the alert rules tab at the top. To create a new rule, click on the create rule button at the top right. In the category section, choose your rule type. For this example, we will stay with usage. Select an account. You can choose to affect all devices under the account or choose a pre-existing router group. In the trigger section, select the condition on which the rule will be triggered. In the notification section, enter the email or emails where you would like the alert sent. Finally, designate a name for the alert, then click Save. You can also choose to enable or disable the alert at this time. Back on the Alert Rules landing page, if you choose to edit your rule, click on the pencil icon under Actions to the right. You also have the ability to delete the rule if you choose. On the Security Overview page, you could subscribe to one of two Verizon Business Internet Security Services, Plus or Preferred. With the Plus subscription, you will get threat protection. With Preferred, you will also get content filtering. Once subscribed and based on your subscription, you can utilize the functions on the Security Overview page. Select an account from the drop-down list, enter an MDN, or click the Select Routers button to show those devices under the account. Lastly, select a time period. You can view the number and the types of threats at an account or line level, view blocked content as part of the preferred service, show security events and when they took place, and manage content filtering if subscribed to the preferred service. In the content filtering section, you can block the router by different categories, block or allow certain pages, enforce safe search, enable password override, and set up a schedule to block access. 
thank you for spending your time with us today. Please continue to come back to see additional enhancements and features when they become available.